So there were rumors that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. was uh, in meetings with uh, Kamala Harris to, well, maybe drop out of the presidential race and endorse her campaign. Uh, I was about to make a video of that when uh, this morning I found out that he had tweeted this. He is uh, essentially withdrawing any kind of um, endorsement to Kamala. He it will not endorse her, but with a caveat. So let's read this. VP Harris, the Democratic Party will be unrecognizable to my father and uncle, and I cannot reconcile it with my values. The Democratic Party of RFK and JFK was the party of civil liberties and free speech. VP Harris is the party of censorship, lockdowns, and medical coercion. Kennedy Democrats were anti-war. Kamala is riddled with neocon warmongers. The RFK, JFK Dems were allies of Main Street, cops, firefighters, and working people. VP Harris is the party of big tech, Big Pharma and Wall Street. My dad and uncle's party was a champion of voting rights and fair elections. VP Harris is the party of lawfare, disenfranchisement and the coronation of its candidates by corporate donors and party elites. I've used our nation's courts to prosecute corporations who hurt black Americans. VP Harris used our nation's courts to mercilessly prosecute black Americans and exploit them for their labor. My father and uncle prided themselves on their skills at the debate and their ability to articulate a coherent vision for our country. VP Harris is scared to debate and can't survive an unscripted interview. Instead of outlining a vision, she relies on mi middle school tactics. Memes forge headlines, infantile slogans, uh, joy, and name-calling. Republicans are weird. I have spent years battling government corruption and lies. VP Harris has spent years gaslighting Americans about the health of our commander-in-chief. That is important. I have no plans to endorse Kamala Harris for president. And this is important. I do have a plan to defeat her. So many things in here, especially the fact that, uh, yes, uh, uh, Kamala Harris has not uh, released an official list of policies that she's going to uphold. We only know that she has been talking about she's going to go after price uh, gouging when she becomes president. And the question, that the logical question is, well, if uh, she is a VP right now, uh, couldn't she tell Biden to do something about it? Isn't Joe Biden the greatest president of all time for Democrats? Why didn't he do something about it? And why did it happen under his presidency? Now, all these questions are asked over and over again. I ask them on X and I never get a solid answer. Now, I have some questions about this last sentence. I do have a plan to defeat her, says Robert F. Kennedy Jr. I would like to know if uh, RFK uh, Jr. has some kind of numbers that we are unaware of. He has some stats. He has some polls that show numbers in which he can actually defeat Kamala Harris in the sense that he, sh if he says that, it's because he has, he's got better numbers than uh, President Trump. It, that is what I understand, right? But the polls, even if you have to take them with a grain of salt, give uh, RFK Jr. only about 5 or 6% tops in this race. It is not just one poll. It is various polls from many, uh, many, um, uh, many camps, many, uh, let's say, all the... All the media have made their polls, so you take the average, and no, RFK Jr.'s uh, possibilities of actually beating Kamala Harris in this race is minuscule. And so my question is, you know that I am all for freedom, and I think people should have freedom to choose and freedom to vote for whoever they want. If you want to vote for RFK Jr., high I would say, go ahead. I have made that very clear. You know that I'm anti-socialism, and but 
Freedom goes before that. You are free to choose. You want to vote for Kamala Harris, go ahead, do it. If you want to vote for Donald Trump, go ahead, do it. You want to vote for Robert F. Kennedy Jr., go ahead. But there's a problem, and there's the caveat that RFK Jr. doesn't have the numbers. He doesn't have the numbers to, well, do whatever he claims he wants to do uh, against Kamala Harris. So the pragmatic thing to do would be to just uh, drop out of the race and endorse Donald Trump. And yes, you, you're you going to tell me, so Jesus, you're like contradicting yourself. You are for freedom of uh, uh, freedom to choose and freedom to vote whoever we want to vote for. Why do you think that it would be the solution for RFK Jr. to drop out of the race and support Donald Trump? Well, this is my point of view for having to deal with socialism for 25 years. And yes, I have said that many times, but I, I, I have to nail it. I have to try to be very clear about this, it, especially in the sense where Kamala Harris says that she's going to go after businesses and corporations in, the, in, in this price wars. And I have lived through that. And I can understand that many people are happy since, well, inflation, cost of life, prices of everything has skyrocketed in many ways. And nobody can deny it in the United States. And nobody can deny it that the one in charge, the Biden and Harris administrations, uh, administration is the one to blame. Then... Why hasn't the Biden-Harris administration done whatever Kamala says she's going to do? And again, I try to be patient. I try to ask these questions on X. Who can give me a solid answer about these policies, about how does this price controls work? Because I know what price control does. It makes things disappear from shelves. It, there's a video of a Milton Friedman out there, which he, he I, I will try to explain that in another video. I think it's something that I can I can do because I see so many people saying that, oh, this is the right thing. It, just just bring the Department of Justice and bring those prices down. It, it's an easy solution, right? But if it's so easy a solution as Kamala Harris claims it is, then why hasn't Biden or herself done it yet? If fixing the border is so easy, as they claim, if fixing the border dependent on that bill that Donald Trump shut down, and yes, Donald Trump bragged about sh uh, shutting it down, uh, it, was, it was because the border bill it was just a band-aid to the problem. And yes, I read that bill. And yes, it was too lenient. We just have two things. Basically, two things is the border, although Kamala Harris hasn't spoken about the border directly, and the price controls. I know that she hasn't said the words price controls, but she has tried to say that in an elegant way, in a you know presidential way, when the real question is, why hasn't it been done yet? So my approach to what Robert F. Kennedy Jr. saying that he is not going to endorse Kamala Harris, that is the right thing to do. Again, uh, I you can vote for Kamala Harris. You are absolutely free to do so. But I think it's a very bad idea. Her ideals and... Um, Tim Wall's ideals are very communist, uh, socialist, and, and that is not going to be any good for America. I'm telling you from my experience and my both in flesh and studying socialism and how it works and what can I can it do to countries and especially the way you know they have handled the border. I want to say a couple more things, but I'm going to say that for for another video. And I already made a video about the lies 
of the very fine people that Kamala Harris camp keeps pushing over and over again. Yeah, that is a lie that has been debunked. I made a video about it. And if they are trying to build their campaign on lies, then what else can they lie about? So I think the right thing to do for Robert F. Kennedy Jr., if he wants to honor that, what the Democratic Party, when it was uh, like, I don't know, 40 years ago, 50 years ago, what it stood for, or the memory of his father and uncle, I think the right thing to do would to drop out of the presidential race and support Donald J. Trump for president. That is my personal opinion, and I think that is the right thing to do. Again, my body language bodies, you know that you are free to do as you please, and maybe you are not even in the United States, but for my American body language bodies, this, this is what I, what I'm sure is the right thing to do. I wanted to give you my opinion about this, but I also want to know what you think about this in the comments. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Battle Language Guy. Much love and bliss.